We are getting ready for episode three of Frank Walks, powered by Body Armor, and well, we are with El Prez. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna talk a little about, about him, but I'm gonna let him try to drive it a little bit. Have him put out what he wants to put out, what he's doing, what he's doing for Barstow, and things like that. Do you think this will be the longest uh, time you've ever hung out with El Prez in One on one? One on one, yes. I've uh, been in green rooms with him before Rough and Rowdies, but that's like just like a, a group. My favorite thing about Dave Portnoy is that he, he's very direct. He, he, he goes right to you, doesn't, doesn't, uh, doesn't bullshit. Is there anything you're nervous about having a long hour alone with Dave Portnoy? I'm always nervous, so. <laughs> uh, uh, being alone with anyone is uh, nerve wracking. Uh, Frank, I think I see Dave Portnoy walking through right now. All right, let's go. Well, we always walk uh, basically until we feel that uh, if you're walking somewhere, you want to go somewhere afterwards, uh, you go. Like I walked uh, JJ Watt from his hotel room to CBS that first time and uh, Last week we uh, walked uh, Mike Francesa around his neighborhood for about 40 minutes. Okay. Which was, he has the greatest rant about the NBA in-season tournament. You were telling me that. I, I also hate the tournament. I mean, it, it, it's terrible. I don't even know why the NBA has to go through these gimmicks like this. They're trying to make it like um, soccer, right? Isn't that the, the vibe? Uh, it was, it was uh, influenced by uh, European soccer, but it's like, they said that the players are lacking interest in the regular season. Yeah, right. Uh, I mean... Well, they celebrated. The Lakers celebrated like they won <laughs> uh, another LeBron title. Well, that was the biggest... The fact that they put that banner up next to the championship banners, is it's, it's almost like comical. Insane. I, I don't know if I even would, would want my team to win that thing. Yeah, I, I hate... You know what I hate the most about it was the courts. Oh, they were ugly. Like a, being a Celtics fan, seeing the parquet. Well, like, the Celtics, uh, the Celtics were not happy about that. They asked if they could keep the parquet, and they were told no. I, I mean, the, the the parquet floor. Look at this. Look at this guy. Hey, how's it going? The, the always electric uh, Jake Marsh. The uh, the parquet floor in Boston is iconic. Correct. It'll be like putting. Uh, well, I don't want to say it because I know it'll get you mad, but like put the Yankees in like yellow uniforms or something. You know, it's, it's a Notre Dame with like crazy, yeah. although Notre Dame does wear crazy helmets uh, time to time. I remember a couple years ago, Notre Dame played a game at Yankee Stadium and basically dressed up like the Yankees. I, yeah. I wanted to puke. Disgusting. I wanted to puke. Yeah, I don't like any of that. I like all the old school basic stuff. I, yeah, I look at some of these NBA teams and they're, they're jerseys and they don't even look like their team. I mean, the, I got the Bucks wearing that, yep. that uh, blue uniform. They've never worn blue in their, in their history. Uh, these, these, and, and uh, some of these uh, jerseys are just hideous. Like the Heat have the Heat, the a jersey where you have all the different riding styles. It looks like a ransom demand. Now that you actually bring that up, I have a question because I know you know all the history. The sports encyclopedia, just done? Yeah, uh, pretty much. Yeah. I just, you know what happened was- Run out uh, of time. Yeah, I don't have the time anymore to run it. Uh, and basically it's just like, Wiki took over and the Wiki stole a lot from me when they were building. Let me tell you, I, I, do, I go on to- Wiki stole from you? Wiki stole from me. Oof. They literally cool. lifted like team histories from me. When I they believe were first it. like starting. I believe it, that's the- and now, I mean, now Wiki is not Wikipedia or it's the same thing? It's Wikipedia. So Wikipedia stole from the tank, from yeah. Sports Encyclopedia. Yeah, like the early years of Wikipedia, they stole a lot of uh, the team history like, like they just copied and pasted from me, whoever put up that wiki. Huh. Have you ever thought, Frank, because I have a little bit, if that camera didn't catch you doing your uh, Mets rant at that exact time, how different your life would be? Cancellations made it nearly impossible to get around. For some, the frustration was overwhelming. New Jersey Transit is the absolute worst. I'm not going to get to my game now because they are incompetent. Incompetent. They tell track G, track H, track E, track E, and then I get on track H, and as you know, this train's not wrong. Their announcement was wrong. He was clearly irate about possibly missing the Mets' opening day game. 
Yeah, it's it's like a sliding door situation. It really is. I mean, it's it's crazy. It really is. I mean, I uh, I just wanted to let my frustration go about New Jersey Transit, which I didn't get my uh, driver's license until I was uh, 28. I got it 20 years ago, probably just probably 20 years ago around this week, uh, 2004. I finally got my license, and I relied on buses and trains my whole life, and it's. The bus is trying to get to Montclair State, and uh, it, was, it was always something. There was always something. And they, they knew there'd be like a bus, where three buses in a row come. Two, one's late, one's on time, one's early. And it's just like so bad to service. And well, it worked in the end. It yeah. worked out for you. Yeah, they're having public meetings now to uh, raise the rates. And every day I get notifications that one train's canceled or this. Why do trains cancel this? Because I have to notifications on my phone. And they tweet out if there's any delays or anything. And it's like, I was in Chicago a couple weeks ago for the, uh, the stream, and they got a notification that all service suspended New Jersey Transit due to a, uh, a track malfunction. So I, I, when Barcel started getting more successful, because I used to take the subway all the time, a normal job, that I vowed never to go on the subways again, public train. And, and in New York, you kind of need it. I still won't do it. Mikey Betts, we almost lost you there. <laughs> How's your crew doing, the Mikey Betts? They are doing great. Yeah. I mean, they, they're, they're coming up with more and more stuff. Uh, we're going to be making more and more trips, uh, and, they're, and they're making good deals with some companies. Like, uh, we might have some big things coming up, I mean, they're talking like big companies. Good. They, I got to Tops last week. Oh, really? Yeah. Are they making a card for you? <laughs> well, uh, Leaf has made a card for me that's uh, autographed that sold out in like uh, a week. And uh, Tops is uh, thinking about doing something with that, doing some content, possibly appearing in the Allen Ginter set. So I was in that. I, KFC and I did that, and I still, one of them sold for like 15 grand. So I have autographed hawkers now who like will wait because they've seen that one sale and they're actually the worst. They're just, they, they are the worst. They always hawk you, but you'd be a perfect fit for that. Great. I mean, the tops meeting was, it was outstanding. Uh, Jenks is talking to them about plans. Uh, he's trying to get, uh, we're trying to get the Dirty, Par Dirty Ballpark Tour finalized and getting like a, a sponsor behind that. Yep. And uh, what is that? I mean, one of his, What's dirty? <laughs> dirty, 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 dirty. I'll visit all 30 MLB stadiums, do a video. That would be ranking great. the whole stadium, the concourse, the outside, the atmosphere, the uh, the stadium itself. How and many stadiums food. have you been to? About 14. What's number one on your hit list that you haven't been to? Uh, probably San Francisco. Yeah. Probably San Francisco. I also like St. Louis, uh, Colorado. I've been to St. Louis, haven't been to Colorado. Have I been to Colorado? I don't think so. Drove by it, didn't go in it. Yeah, Colorado, what I like about Colorado is it looks like it has this, uh, which you call? The sunsets in the summer. Like the fires, like, like they listen like the sky's on fire. Yeah, that's Colorado, the crazy sunsets. I went out to Colorado in 1992. Uh, to visit to visit my mother's side of family, and uh, we had a car trip from uh, Co Boulder, Colorado, to McAllister, Montana. I've never been to Boulder. I applied to go to school there without seeing it, but decided against it. I was going through whether I want to be like a ski bum phase. Yeah, I got to get out there for Dion to see a game. Yeah, uh, yeah. My uh, my aunt lived in uh, in Boulder at the time, and I remember uh, going down with my cousin to like this area of Boulder, which is basically like where all like the, the potheads hung out. <laughs> what happened to your, uh, do you still have that guy who lives with you, the other Dolphins fan? The other Dolphins fan? Yeah, in your building. Oh, the Colts fan. Colts fan. Uh, he's not doing so well, I say. Really? Heard. Yeah, he lives in the building, I moved out of that building, but uh, yeah, that Colts fan? Yeah. Yeah, he, he kind of had like a, breakdown like a mental breakdown yeah he uh, like he had like issues he was a teacher he's actually a teacher uh, in uh, Clifton and uh, 
the working from home like really got to him during COVID. And he started like taking all these cats into his apartment. Like That's a sure sign that you're having a breakdown if you take cats. Yeah, he's taking all the cats from the dumpster. You could like smell in the hallway like the, the cats. All these cats and then he went to the hospital and I haven't heard from him now in almost three years. I texted him a couple of times here and there and I haven't gotten a response. Taking the cats from the dumpster is no bueno. Do, yeah, you, do you remember what I said? Uh, you may not even know. You probably know I said it. It's probably one of the most wrong things that I've been since Barstool when we hired you. I said you were going to be on an innings count. Yep. I, I remember was that. wrong on that one. I was dead ass wrong on that one. Gladly wrong. What did you think when I said that? Were you like, oh, I'm going to show this guy or what? Yeah, I just wanted to go there, get involved, show what I, show what I can do. I did, uh, and, I, and, and I tried to like participate as much as I can in everyone's content. I saw you were talking about the uh, draft. What uh, draft? The, uh, bar, the New York office draft. Where we uh, basically going to come out with videos. Like the that, oh, we were talking about that today. Yeah. The, yeah, that was Kevin's thing. Yes. And uh, uh, I think we're going to work on something. It's going to be probably uh, Hollywood related. I don't know if I want to say much more than that. Which, who's, uh, who's on your team? Kelly Keegs, Lil Sass. Uh, oh, it's a good team. Uh, Robbie Fox. This was drafted? Yeah. How'd you get all those guys together? It's just how they get it all together. And we got uh, Gia too. Huh. It's a good team. It's a solid squad. Dang, this is, this is Keegs' team. So you're... Uh, you hate Tate. I don't necessarily hate Tate, but I, I want to see him face the music. Yeah. Uh, you know, it got to the point where, okay, you're lobbing all these grenades, and you don't want to come to New York? No, you have to come to New York. I think he is now, that's what it seems like. I mean, I mean, it, it, the first couple shots, I was like, okay, and then it just, got, I think it got overboard. Yeah. Well, it got personal, but going back and forth. What do you think is the most, this is a hard question, surreal thing, or where, since you've been here, where you're like, man, I can't believe that just happened, or I, didn't, I can't believe I met this person. Uh, it's almost happening regularly now. Yeah, it's... I mean, I, I, I can't believe I actually walked around with Mike Francesa and things like that, and that I got a chance to meet these athletes, these different people, and... Heads up. Going all Sorry. around. Sorry. I always wanted to go to all 50 states, and now I'm at 43. Really? What's left? Uh, Minnesota, the Dakotas. You've never been to Minnesota? Never been I to Minnesota. I feel like that would have been an easy one to knock off. Dakotas, I've never been to. What else? Uh, uh, Washington, Oregon, and uh, the two uh, other ones, Alaska, Hawaii. All right, so all those make sense, except we escalating or stairs? Escalating? Yep. All those make sense, except Minnesota. Yeah, I just haven't had that opportunity yet. That's going to happen probably soon, I think. I think the Dirty World Park will at least hit it for Minnesota, for the Twins. The Dakotas, I actually have a cousin in the Dakotas, too, which is kind of crazy that I've never been to the Dakotas. But an uncle, too. But yeah, never been to the Dakotas. Those, those are states that are yeah, really hard there. to get to. And I've never been to Dakotas either. I don't. I don't plan. I probably will never be at the Dakotas. But and then of course in the upper Midwest there, the up the the, the left hand the left hand corner, so to speak. Who? Uh, Washington Oregon? and Oregon. Well, that's not. Do you call that the Midwest? That's no, the no. West. I meant oh. to the left hand corner. Yeah, I should yeah, say. yeah. I haven't been out there either. The, those places. I would like to go probably, eh, I don't know where we're going anymore. Washington, yes, but I don't know about the other. <laughs> yeah, we're You gone. and Francesa would be an electric radio show. I think it would be. Electric. I think it would be, and of course, Harrison, I think he did a good job uh, last summer when he was uh, yeah, the in interning. Son. Yeah, yeah. I've met him a bunch because he's a big horse guy. He's always at Saratoga, so that's one of my spots. I see him up there a lot, but it is surreal. Are you ever going to get a horse in the derby? Huh. 
I know so, Francesca talks about it that he's dreams that's his dream is to get a horse. Yeah, in the, so here's in my the thing with horse racing. Like while I'm uh, uh, for ninety nine point nine percent of the population a wealthy person, <laughs> for the horse racing industry, I'm poor. It's like they're so rich, they're billionaires. To get a, you have to be like the people who have horse and they're like Mike Rapoli, who I'm friends with, he's a, another New York guy. He's a, uh, what is he, a Queens guy, but he, he's had horses in the Derby, but he's a billionaire. He's a, he has a, he spends tens of millions of dollars every year on horse. I can't do that. So to, I probably will never have a horse because the other thing I don't like doing, a lot of people do partnerships. And they're like, oh, I own 1% of this horse. That does nothing for me. Like I want it to be my yeah. horse. So, you know, I bought one very expensive horse this past Saratoga. It's a, a female, so not Derby. But the odds of that horse being good, because the horse costs 700 grand, it may never run. Like, you still have to Jeez. be so lucky. So it's like, I'm just not rich enough for it. But okay. it would be a dream. I mean, yeah, that's... And I like the fact that I'm kicking off all these events I have never thought I would have had a chance to go to. Like, I went to the, uh, in the Daytona a couple years ago. And... Just click them, take them off slowly, but surely. Go to this event, go to that event. So I've gone through, in a weird way, the similar like cycle of what you're going through with all these events, meeting people. Like when I started, I mean, no one knew what Barcel was when I started. And then it starts growing. You start meeting people, going to things, and it's surreal. Yeah. Like I, the the Daytona 500, I rode in the pace car with Dale Earnhardt Jr. It was insane. First race I ever went to. I like yeah, how we just kind of walk aimlessly, and now we're at the Aria. I end up walking back to my hotel, the wind. Oh yeah, it's, 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 it, but that's how it is. It, it, we like uh, doing things like this, and. Uh, well, I think the walk, I told our salespeople that I thought the walk would be one of the biggest things that we have by the end of this year. Once, once celebrities start asking to be in it. Yeah, we, we already got some people that we're already preliminary talking to. And I think that's going to be really, really big. And I think especially that I've walked now, this is 134 straight days. How much weight have you lost? Uh, well, at one time, I was my top ever was 2016. I weighed 500 pounds, over well, 500 pounds. And you're down under 350 now? Um, last weigh in last week, 340. It's great. And it's like I'm down like 40 since August. It's great. I mean, I'm wearing jeans right now. That I could never fit in. I'm wearing the these jeans are a little tight. They were uh, size 56. I was wearing. Where do you get size 56 jeans from? This one we were lucky to get it at Burlington, but usually I had to go to like the king size or DXL to get my uh, my my clothes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was at my waist size was 69, and now it's 50 like 58. I've gone from a uh, 34, I got down to like a 30, and now I'm back at a 34, 30. Not the ideal waist size either, short. Yeah, I'm, in the, I'm about the same <laughs> size. I'm about the same size, but yeah. But yeah, the, the walks are really helping. Uh, That's all I do. I, I have such a bum shoulder, so I just walk everywhere. I do, I walk like three miles a day, generally, try to. Yeah, I have the Fitbit, so I go, my goal is at least 10,000. Fitbit, you hear that? <laughs> like, whoop, Fitbit, that's another one that I want to sell, get ads for. It's a no-brainer. I... Yeah, I did, so I have that. Uh, yesterday, I, I, yesterday, I reached 20,000. And that's steps? good. Yeah. 20,000 steps. Yeah. Walked uh, to and back to Caesars. Which really How long is the strip? Do we know? I How? think it's a couple of miles. Five miles? I think the whole thing is like five miles. Token Madera, yeah. This is where Aria is. I think I'm actually getting close I to my hotel. I think the wind is one. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That That's works. what I did with uh, JJ Watt. That's Perfect. what I did with JJ Watt. That's what you say. You can't start much, t uh, I mean, bigger than that. Watt and Francesa. Yeah, I mean. Those are, that's A list. I mean, I, were you uh, a, were you Frances or a Mad Dog guy? I was a Frances guy. So does that mean you didn't like Mad Dog once they broke? Did you have to choose sides on that? Uh, I just ignored Mad Dog. I didn't have uh, serious radio until uh, 2019. Because their their breakup was 
was not pleasant, right? No, it wasn't. Right. So I was they saying, got I'm, tired of each other. Yeah. Which and happens. Then, and then on, how are you? Mad Dog got that money from Sirius. Yep. Meanwhile, Mike Francesca has got the same salary he had and was getting kind of jealous. Right. Thanks. So that was kind of like a, a bad thing That's that happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then when uh, Yes Network booted Francesca for uh, Michael K, that was like really ugly. Yeah. It got really ugly. That's, uh, that's where Mincy used to work out of, the Poker Go studio. Huh. When he was briefly, well, I don't know what, I don't know that he was totally ever unemployed. I don't know what Mincy meant. <laughs> next year's Super Bowl, he's gonna be, uh, where, is he's gonna be the king. He's yeah. gonna be the king yeah, of yeah. next year's Super Bowl. Yep. I mean, New Orleans. What do you think of the Super Bowl here? Are you a fan of it in Vegas? I like it. Yeah. I like it. I, I like getting it different places. I hope Chicago builds that dome stadium and they put one in Chicago. I wish they put a dome on that air conditioning unit in uh, New Jersey, which is the worst stadium in the NFL. The, pro me, the problem with cold weather, it's like New York when you had there, it's cold. Minnesota there, was, it wasn't New York snow when they had it? Yeah. Yeah, and Minnesota was so cold, you couldn't even go outside. I, I'm, I'm a believer for the Super Bowl. It should be three, of like, here you can do fine, New Orleans, Miami, rotate it. Because so many fans, it's their vacation. And it's like, you go to a cold weather, ice cold city, it kind of sucks. But sometimes the city helps pull it out. Yeah, I don't, well, I don't. Here, here the city's so big, you may not even know it's a Super Bowl. Because it's, yeah, it's, it's like, crazy. it's a convention city, and it, there's just so many hotels. It's so crazy. Much I remember I heard stories that when they put it in Jacksonville, it was a disaster. Yes, oh, I remember uh, the Patriots were in that yeah. one, I think. Yeah, they were. Yeah, That's so when they won their third. That, that was a huge, so we were just starting, and all the local, like, EEI, they're all just bitching. They're like, the hotels, and as a fan, you're like, just shut up. You're at the game for free. You have no, no reason to be bitching. But everyone complained about Jacksonville. Everybody. Yeah, that was. Nashville will get one because they're building that stadium. That's a great city. Yeah, that's gonna be a, that, that should be an interesting one with the Music City. Yep. Been to Tennessee, but I haven't been to Nashville yet. Right. I've been to, uh, what, what, uh, been to no, Knoxville. It, it was a super, what? I've been to Knoxville. Oh, oh, I thought you said there was been, a Super Bowl there. Yeah, I've been to Knoxville, been. the Vols. Nashville's a great city. Yep. You've never been there? Nope. Great city. Are you a country music fan? What kind of music do you listen to? I listen to Yacht Rock a lot. <laughs> we got more in common than we think. Yacht Rock's the best. And my parents grew up listening to country music, so I know a lot about country music, especially Toby Keith. Yeah, so uh, did you see the Toby Keith story that yeah. I told? Very lucky. I just happened to see one of his last performances, and I mean, he, he was like you with the Mets. I mean, he lives for Oklahoma football. Yeah. He lives for it, and he, all he did was rip Lincoln Riley for two hours straight. I saw the uh, I saw the pictures of him. You just see how this like cancer just like ate just, away. Like, ate away at him. Yeah. I mean, this guy was this guy was a big husky. Yeah. Like he worked on oil wells before he was a, a singer, and yeah. you could just see what the cancer did him. Cancer, Brutal. cancer sucks. Brutal. You never know what happened. I mean, he wasn't that old. He's what 62. 62. No, yeah. that's not that old. Not anymore. No. Yeah. I mean, I grew up. I grew up, and 70 was. Old, and now no, it doesn't seem like young. it's old anymore. It's my parents, yeah, doesn't even seem that old anymore. I mean, we got people making it to 90 and 80, and some of the 80 olds uh, look like they're still uh, yeah. spry and things. 100. percent I mean, look at Clint Eastwood. How He's still be? directing movies. He's yeah, 90. 90. Hubie Brown is probably one of the best NBA color analysts, and he's 90. Hubie Brown's 90? He's I 90. Love, and he's, I didn't know he's still calling games. Yeah, yeah I saw him uh, when he went to the Knicks game a few weeks ago. I saw him at the desk. He is the best. I mean. Who would your ideal, well, I don't, I don't know if you're gonna say, you like the Mets announcers. Yes. So outside of them, who's your favorite, like if to call, a, if you have a Mets playoff game, so you don't, you can't have Darling and you can't have Howie, who would you want to call it? Do well, you Gary Cohn is the, uh, TV guy. Okay. For I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm saying you can't pick them. It would have to be somebody else. Do you like Buck? I've warmed up a little bit on him. <laughs> I used to... What about Costas? Costas I used to like a little bit better, but I think he's gotten too full of himself. 
I like Costas. It makes me feel like you're watching the game. I like Buck. I mean, Vince Scully was Vince Scully the best, was the best. The best. Vince Scully was the best. Uh, you know, I like Sean McDonough. He used to do Red Sox. I think Sean McDonough is great at everything. He yeah, does. I think that's a good one. Uh, I think Kevin Burkhardt's done good. Yeah, he is good. I like Kevin Burkhardt. I know that uh, Brady's going to push Greg Olson out. He's our dozen guy. Yeah. But Jersey I mean, guy. I, it, oh, what's that? He's a Jersey guy. Yeah, Olsen. Yeah. yeah. He, he was like one of the very first professional athlete barstool fans. I became like, I, I've always said this when people ask, Dave, like, who are you friends with? That he, I'm legitimately friends with him. There's a very few that I've become that. Just a great guy, super nice. Like, even, for example, he's doing the dozen. I, one calls, like, hey, Greg, can you do this? I'm like, yep, when is it? I'll be there. No questions asked. I wish Greg Olsen. I, I, I mean, I, I, I know they're gonna, they gotta give Brady the shot. So, but I wish somehow it's the best Olsen. thing that's ever happened to him because he's gonna be like the backup quarterback where everyone's like, we want Olsen back. We want, so he's gonna make, he's making more money doing this than he ever did playing football. Yeah, it's it's crazy. crazy. Because I think it would, Bray, I, I don't know if Brady's gonna be good or not. I think I, he will. I know Joe Montana tried it and it was awful. Yeah, I think Brady is better than, I mean, I think Brady will be good. I, I, who knows? I think he'll be good. You never know, like Rome, I never thought Romo, I never bought the Romo. Uh, I, he, he annoyed me from the start. Yeah, same. I mean. And he's awful now, I mean, he he's is, almost, almost unwatchable. It, uh, I, I'm almost tempted, I'm almost tempted to watch the Nickelodeon broadcast. Yeah, you know what, he, he gives the vibes of like, uh, he, he doesn't watch or pay attention to anything, he just sits down and watch, like he has no clue, whereas Greg, you can tell, is doing the research, paying attention. I mean, it's just like did that not so fast, Jim. It's just so irritating. Yeah. I got no idea what we're walking to right now. Does anybody? Where is the win? Oh well, you guys tell me. I think we're. I think I'm very close to my hotel. You're like a mile away. Oh, I am. All right, I have no. F well, Margaritaville's super close to where the hotel is. I don't know. They, so what, they just have the same stores every like 100 yards? Yeah, something like that. It's crazy because all those stores are near my hotel. Well, you know, they, you know what it is? They don't want you leaving the hotel. Yeah, I know. So they throw, like, you don't really generally have to. They have the uh, Caesars has like the highest end things. They have Armani and stuff. That's what mine does too. The wind does too. Yeah. But we just walked all by those. I don't know how anybody, I mean, it's an overwhelming city. That is yeah. for damn sure. I, uh, I, I tried my, yeah. We had blackjack last night. It didn't go too well. You lost. You got to go play with Compton and Taylor Lewan. They win every night I'm, somehow. I mean, uh, uh, every hand this dealer's got getting 20. That's blackjack everywhere except those guys where they <laughs> quite literally win every single hand they play. I mean, it's, it's just like, it feels just like so, uh, so going demoralizing. Up. Going up here. Yeah, I'm not a black, I'm a sports gambler. Yeah. I'm not as much of a uh, blackjack guy. Who do you like in the Super Bowl? I like the Chiefs. I'm on them too. I just. But I'm very nervous about it. I think it's gonna be a very close game. I just think the, the, the Niners actually didn't play well. They, they should have lost the last two games. Yeah. But then there's something, that, then why are they favored? Like that's the thing that has me a little bit. Cause really the Packers, Jordan Love puked on himself in the second half. Yeah. And and the Lions, I, I don't care about not going field goals. The guy always does it. But then you, the turnover and the kick, it just fell apart. They bang. Yeah, Dan Campbell, uh, I think the second one, when they were had a, when it was a 45-yard field goal, when they tied the game. Yeah, that was crazy. tied the game. That was I don't crazy. understand how you don't go for that one. That one was nuts. But... You, there's, you live by the sword, you die. He did it all season, so it's... Well, well this way, we just, she said we can record there. I don't know why you can't record here, but... <laughs> people like making rules just to make rules. Yeah, it's just just like to crush crazy, people. I mean, like, I mean, to care about seriously, that. we're like just nuts. walking through. We're just walking, right? I mean, what are we doing here? We're not even like, is this, is this America? <laughs> we get body armor, you know. One of the things is body armor has really helped with the walks. Uh, I mean, 
They keep me hydrated. And uh, now I'm so glad they're coming out with these zero sugar varieties. This is, this is the fruit punch. It's awesome. I think it's better than the uh, regular. I think the zero sugar tastes better than regular body armor. And you can tell they're sort of like healthy just by the way you're and drinking that's, them. And that's hard, hard to do to make the zero sugar taste better than the original. I prefer it. Yeah? Yeah, I prefer it. Much better. Yeah, we're gonna, I think we're still this guy, private property. <laughs> well, yeah, we're walking. I guess we're just doing the strip. I don't know. This building, which is nothing, they're acting like it's Fort Knox. <laughs> like, can't record, can't record. By the way, it's Super Bowl week is Vegas, so maybe a lot of weird people come out and do it. But, yeah, they're very, uh, very on top of us, like we're about to steal something here. Yeah, I mean, literally, we're just, like, walking. Yeah. We're walking here. We're walking by them. I'm not even paying attention to what we're walking by. Me neither. I, I mean, don't even know what building it is. It's a incredible. high security. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> what building is this? Ross Shoes? I don't know. It's, 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 it's strange. Very strange. I look at their building more things every day. You know, they're tearing down to Tropicana. I know that. That used to be, uh, well, they're, what are, are they building the baseball stadium there? That's where the A's are going to go. Yeah, right. So That's, Penn used to own the Tropicana. Yeah, it's, it's closing in April, and that's going to be, uh, they're going to tear it down and build the uh, ballpark for the soon to be Las Vegas Athletics. It's crazy how quickly Vegas has gotten hockey, football, Basketball's baseball. Gonna, yeah, basketball, basketball is, is definitely coming. It's, it's, the NBA is going to expand to two teams. It's going to be Seattle and Vegas. That's almost set Bring in stone. Bring back the Supersonics? Yep. Will they get the name? Yeah, they will. That's good. Basically, uh, uh, Clay Bennett. <laughs> it's, yeah, the Alex <laughs> Bennett's. Yeah. Or formerly, I don't know where they're at now, but. But yeah, that's, he, he kind of did Seattle dirty. Yeah, they don't like him. They hate him. I got a lot of hate mail about that. He kind of did Seattle, he kind of did Seattle dirty. Seattle's a great sports town, too. It is, too. They, they got hockey and the, the Kraken are doing well. Yep, yep. The Kraken, they're obviously 12th man Seahawks. I feel like they 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 care about soccer there. Maybe I'm confusing Yeah, that. they do. They love yeah. the Sounders. Yeah, yeah, that's the what Sounders, I thought. The uh, Sounders were a little down the last couple of years, but they won, like, uh, the MLS Cup, like, two or three times. Yeah. They had Cliff Dempsey, I think. As the uh, coach? No, he was like at the end of his career. He well, came he, over. He's been retired for a little bit, no? Yeah, I'm talking about six, seven years ago. I was watching the Beckham documentary. That he, he and Beckham are buttonheads, I think, if that's what I'm remembering. Is it Clint Dempsey? Yeah, sure. How's it going? How are you? Good. Hey. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Well, everything's going well. I see that uh, we got uh, a new partner that's going to be starting just after the Super Bowl. For this Frank Walks? Uh, no, for... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. I look forward to that. I've, uh, I've previewed the app and I think it's got a good, good interface. Yes. So I look forward to that. What's that? This is oh, yeah, yeah, March. Yeah, yeah. So. Yes, so by, by the time this thing airs, everybody will know. Yeah, everyone will know. It's everybody will, and we'll be getting ready. No. Wrong. Wrong. DraftKings. 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 Sorry about March that. Madness. Yeah, DraftKings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's the king of fantasy sports. Yeah, we just did that commercial yeah. yesterday. Which, have you seen? The, well, you know the movie, Major League. Yeah. But we actually made that. So we advertised with them. Back 2014, I think, or something like that, we made that commercial, so that was a remake of it. Yeah, I looked at the commercial before you shot. Yeah, Paris, I haven't eaten there. Pizza and tapas, or have I eaten there? I don't know, I get all my pizza places but, confused. How's the uh, raw dogs going? Oh, they're going well. Uh, I'm going to try to eat all 50 states, too, doing that. And uh, hey. I uh, got a couple good places in the- uh, What's your all-time hot dog? Uh, it's Rutt's Hut in Clifton, New Jersey. What is it? Rutt's Hut in Clifton, New Jersey. How far is that from the city or our office? It's uh, just off Route 3. 
Sort so of it's like, like basically maybe uh, five miles past the Meadowlands. All right, I gotta try that then. If that's your best hot dog ever, I gotta give that a shot. Yeah, they have they call it the Ripper, and it's been voted the number one hot dog by Road Food like the last six years. What it, what's on a Ripper? Heads up. <laughs> it's a hot dog that's thrown in uh, hot oil, and it boils up like real fast, like a minute, and the skin begins to, bur to burst off. So the, it rips the skin off. Huh. The Ripper, all right, I'm gonna have to give that a shot. And they have really good relish. Oh, that's important. I, you know, I've, I made, I've eaten the hot dogs in Cleveland, don't love them, don't love them in Chicago. I like my hot dogs, I, well, I don't know if this is gonna be blasphemous because I know it's controversial. I just put ketchup, that's oh. it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure how that would go over. I love, as yeah. uh, you go to Chicago some places, like, uh, they put gross stuff on it. Uh, there's too much stuff. And then you go to your, the uh, place Gene and Jude's, and it, that, uh, they are so strict, no ketchup, so much that the McDonald's- You gotta go McDonald's to the McDonald's the, across the street. And they charge you a McDonald's. Yeah, I know, smart. This is just the beginning. Thanks for uh, walking with me, uh, Dave, of Thanks course. Thanks for the invite. I mean, it's gonna be great. I think this is gonna explode. I agree with you. I've been on our sales, and you got your team here, Jenks, Mikey Betts. You got something going, Frank. Yeah, we're gonna- one of, one of the few times I got to eat crow and be like, I was wrong. I didn't see this. I mean, I've seen it coming for a little bit, but uh, yeah. I mean, build, just, building the Frank Empire over just here. Just the last, two, just this week, the grace juxtaposition never. One day I walk by the Grand Canyon. The next day I walk down the Strip. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> Very, two, two absolutely natural wonders of the world. But we have more great walks coming up. So stay tuned and uh, it's good. It's monthly for now, but if we get more, we'll get more out. I love it.